Oh, I know. Okay. Come on. Bless you. Howie, right, you have to go away so we can practice recall. There you go. Good boy. Good pee pee. Good. Yes. That was your mom, though. We need you to stop before that. Yeah. Hopefully, we get another chance. We we'll use the remote. Just on the beep right now, conditioning. Hopefully, he gets excited again. Starts going off. Yes, good boy. That's it. Go potty. Oh, pulling. Yes, good boy. Come here. Very good. Good job. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. So just try to keep in mind that when you go out during different times of the day, of course your neighborhood will vary, but if you want to do social work and dog reactivity, try to aim for when most people are walking their dogs. And then if you want to just do obedience, walking behaviors, recall, things like that, it's usually a good time when it's in between those times when it's going to be a little bit quieter, slightly less distractions. And you'll still always kind of come across some distractions here and there to still be able to practice with. But especially for conditioning and getting behaviors down, it's good to have less distractions sometimes. And then when you really want to work on behaviors, it's good to have more distractions sometimes. So all right, right here we have somebody about to mow the lawn, I think. So we're walking this way as opposed to the other way. See if he gets distracted by them. Boy. Yes, good. Good morning. Good boy. Good job. All right, come on, big guy. Good. Just practicing sit and wait. It's always good to do preemptively because sometimes people either don't like dogs, are allergic, are afraid of dogs. So it's always better that you get his attention beforehand. So that way it's easier to maintain his attention as opposed to him running off to greeting them or barking at them because he's unsure of all those things. The more that you engage in preemptive work to get him situated and set up for success, the less likely you'll be that you'll have to do any kind of damage control. Might still happen depending on the person and the dog. Sometimes people come up to pups too quickly. Sometimes he'll be more unsure of other people. It just really depends on the situation. But the more that you kind of get him ready beforehand, the more in control you'll be 
already of a situation as opposed to trying to put out a fire. Good boy. Yes. It's pretty good for the most part. He just can be unsure if people approach him too quickly. Same with kids. Nothing aggressive, but the fact that he is unsure and can bark can definitely make it so that he uh, can scare the little pups. Here we go. Good boy. Easy. Yes. Yeah. Touch. Good. Good boy. Okay. Yes, good boy, this way. Gonna go through the yard here. Hopes we can get some more space for some recall. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Up here? Good. Alright, come. Alright. Alright, so he sees a bird there. I'm gonna go ahead and use this preemptively. Yes, good boy. Much better. Good job. Good listen. So recalling through some distractions in nature. Hopefully I actually hit record again. I did, okay. Good boy. I know, I saw you look back. He's like, are you coming? I was like, yeah, I'm coming. All right. Yes, good boy. <laughs> Good job. Okay. All right. Yes. I think you got this uh, stick around me for treats down pretty good. <laughs> Good boy. I'm coming. Come on. Let's go. Oh, there's another doggo. Look at the doggo. Good boy. Sit. Good. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? You're good. Yeah, it's good practice for him. Howie. Yes, good boy. <laughs> Hi. Good boy. <laughs> Good job, very good. Up here. Good boy. Here. Good. So even though we're working on mostly recall, we had somebody out with their pups off leash. We're able to get his attention 
early even without anything here which is good and you see I was able to kind of quickly flip up in case we needed extra help re redirecting anything you know it's better like I said to do something preemptively and not need it than to wait until afterwards and wish that you had done it you know so it's it's always good to you know be ahead of the game whenever possible yes good boy <laughs> And you're just working on stay. This kind of stay is just through distractions. Doesn't really have any distance. It's mostly duration and distractions. Job the guy. So I'm actually gonna wait for him to check out and then call him back in. That's a good boy. If he just stays focused though, I'll just periodically reward him. Good boy. Good stay. <laughs> it's one of those times when you know it's good that other people are around doing their own thing very good good boy good stay up here good stay stay good boy boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. yeah 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 get paw Oh, that's a touch. Oh, that works too. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. You gotta chew before you swallow, big guy. You gotta chew. You gotta chew. Yeah, you gotta chew. Hmm? You gotta chew. Oh, good boy. <laughs> I know. Okay. Now we're going to practice a little bit of the leave it. Yes, good boy. Good boy, good stay. Good job, big guy. Up here, good. Okay, good. Very good, good boy. Okay, the leash is unlocked and everything. He's holding all on his own. Very good, good boy. <laughs> the dog is just chilling. <laughs> good boy, okay. Good. Good boy. Oh boy. Alright, come on. Let's go throw the thing away. Good job, big guy. <laughs> this way. Yes. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait. Wait. Good boy. Good job. Good job. Good boy. 
Get a couple more bags for everybody else. All right, let's go. Need to go pee or anything? Come on. <laughs> Good boy. Go ahead. Yes, good boy, good weight. Here, good. Hey, how's it good going? Good boy. <laughs> yeah, he's doing good. Yes, good job. 